The goal, to speed diagnosis and treatment of diseases like cancer, while at the same time reducing the cost of treatment. To achieve those goals, APLUW Center for Industrial and Medical Ultrasound is collaborating with UW Medicine to develop a new technology based on high-intensity ultrasound and the science of epigenetics, changes in organisms caused by modification of gene expression rather than the alteration of the genetic code itself. Every disease has an epigenetic component. Unlike genetic problems, epigenetic disorders can be pharmacologically reversed. So the, the power of understanding epigenetics is so that, that uh, one can really make a difference with our patients. Would they care, Doc, have you done anything that I can go home for Christmas? And that's our goal, is to develop these technologies that we can really make a difference in the real world. Hoping to make that difference, a simple ultrasound device developed by SIMU researchers and collaborators in the UW Department of Medicine. They call it PIXEL. PIXEL is an array of transducers. Essentially, This device holds out the promise of speeding the search for disease biomarkers and improving drug discovery methods. In order to understand disease and better treatment, one needs to understand the epigenetic processes. So. Um, Many years ago, we set out to develop high-throughput technologies to, uh, uh, to, the, to understand uh, the alter epigenetic uh, mechanisms of disease. And the reason we, we needed that, because the, these processes are extraordinarily complex, and the technologies that existed are no match to the complexity of, of the disease. To search for these disease-causing genetic modifications, researchers employ chromatin immunoprecipitation, or CHIP. Before running a CHIP assay, researchers must grow and harvest cell samples. Then, using the power of ultrasonic cavitation, shear the sample's chromatin into short strands. When Carol came to me uh, looking for a way to break down DNA in his microplates, we thought we might have the capabilities of doing that in SIMU. And so we started with a big transducer, put it underneath a microplate well, and we generated a lot of cavitation under the well in order to, to uh, shear the DNA. The idea was to try to put one transducer under each and every well of a microplate. So we got down to something about this size, and it worked very well. Carol was able to optimize it and shear DNA and chromatin with it. As we were developing this system, we were trying to take it from treating one sample in one vial to treating every sample in a 96 well microplate. And so we came up with the term PIXEL to cover that. PIXEL stands for pixelated ultrasound. PIXEL replaces a multi-step time-consuming process of growing cells in culture plates, harvesting the cells and placing them in vials, setting up an ultrasound shearing system, and then transferring sheared material to a 96 well microplate for the chip assay. With Pixel, all these steps are completed with no transfer of material or moving parts. Pixel is fast and reliable. When we first started this work with Carol, uh, he was interested in, in shearing chromatin down to uh, sizes from 150, 200 base pairs to 500 or 600 base pairs. That's extremely small. Not only that, we were trying to do it in a microplate, which is a plastic, glossy, substance so that as the ultrasound propagates through the microplate you lose a lot of energy and so we weren't sure we could actually achieve those kind of results in the lab but we persevered and, and were able to uh, share the chromatin actually, yeah. at the time we started this project uh, we were told that it would take hours to share dna and chromatin specifically down to the sizes needed uh, for the assays and we thought we could do it much faster because we could focus the energy into each and every well independently and generate all the energy needed quickly. And sure enough, we were able to treat every well uh, within minutes. So instead of taking hours to treat these samples, we could do it within minutes, saving the researchers lots of time. Our goal was to take away irreproducibility, take away all the variables that researchers use in preparing their samples so that everything is processed exactly the same way, identically, each and every time so that samples processed in one well are treated exactly the same as samples processed in another well. The results are the same. Every day that you come into the lab, you get the same results. 
lab to lab, the results are the same. And so that was our goal with Pixel. Epigenetic uh, therapy is one of the fastest growing uh, treatments in, the, in, in disease, in particular in cancer. However, to this day, epigenetic therapy is empirical rather than rational, meaning that if a patient is diagnosed with a particular cancer, the doctor knows that there is a particular treatment that may help but it doesn't tell the doctor which patient will respond to the treatment and which patient will not. For that, we need technologies uh, to, the, to uh, identify biomarkers that will uh, provide the physician with a specific guidance what therapy uh, to use. A modified version of this commercial pixel prototype should be on the market before the end of 2018.